Hello everybody, I'm Jedi Jack Penguin and welcome to another LEGO Star Wars review. So today we're going to be looking at set number 8087 TIE Defender. This set includes 304 pieces and originally retailed for $49.99 back in January of 2010. Was it worth 50 bucks back in the day? Eh, not really. Many figures aren't exciting, build is meh at best, doesn't appear in any of the movies, but does appear within that one TIE Fighter PC game. And still, this is something that LEGO could do better, but they probably won't ever make again. Now that I got all of that out of the way, as you can see, I no longer own the original box, but I do have the original instructions for this set, which also has that classic three clone pileup right there in the corner and that dark red Star Wars logo that you would see on the box art right there from the very front. From the very back, we get the Wayne Kid. We get a quick Lego Club advertisement leading to an advertisement for some 2009 and 2010, or at least I believe these are all 2009 Lego Star Wars sets, which I own all of these except for the Venator. That's one that I do want to get sometime in the future, and I will be reviewing this one very shortly, so look forward to that sometime in the next few months. From there, we get some pretty nice art that we used to get in these Lego instruction manuals from back in the day really cool to see this kind of stuff. Some more sets advertised for Hoth, which I really love the drawing style used here for these comics. Very, very cool. Page about the play features leading to one page of piece count. Final overall model for this set. So yeah, that's all for the instructions. Quite a lot to cover in there. So let's get right into our minifigure selection. For our first minifigure, we have a regular old Stormtrooper. Now this version of the Stormtrooper is not exclusive, also coming within four other sets not counting this one. Now we get the plain white legs, black belt piece, white arms, black hands printing from both the front and the back of the torso, and then we get the one accessory being the regular style gun. For the facial expression we'll see the regular old black headpiece being used, and then we get the regular printing for the time period on that helmet piece. So yeah, that's all for the Stormtrooper. And then finally for our last minifigure, we have a TIE Defender pilot, which is a quite obvious inclusion. This version of the character is not exclusive, also coming within the Star Wars Advent Calendar, the very first one from back in 2011. Now we get no leg printing, no arm printing, just that full black look for the character. We get the printing from the front of the torso and no back printing. We get the regular old black head piece right there underneath the helmet, just if you were wanting to know. And then we get that TIE Pilot helmet with the printing from the front. Really love the shine to the little Imperial symbols, but other than that, really just another basic Imperial character to get within this set. Now looking at the final overall model for the TIE Defender, I think it turned out alright. The cockpit is a little blocky and I don't really like how it stands on these plate pieces right there because these will definitely wear out over time if you leave it standing like that so you know that's my only real complaint when it comes to the set it is of course the only of its kind the only tie defender that lego has ever made i don't think we're ever going to see them remake this in the future so i'm pretty happy that they made it at all as a regular retail set so bringing this a little closer we're gonna start with the wings because it's the biggest part right here we get three very repetitive builds right here for the wings which uses a lot of these plate pieces just to build them up you get some tile pieces to tile them off which also adds a little bit of extra detail that I really appreciate. We get some Technic connections for those. You can see that a lot from the very side over here and from the back of these wings you can see how those are connected. We get some more Technic action when it comes to the very center of how these are all connected. Same build for all three wings like I said just same sort of direction going on right there and the way that you're supposed to actually stand this thing if you want to have it on display is by two wings being on the bottom like that. And overall, for that reason, I think it turned out quite nice. It is not supposed to be displayed like this because that's even worse and will also damage those wings furthermore. From the very edge of all of the wings, we get these flick fire missiles, which is a really interesting play feature to include so many of those. If you don't know how they work, you just flick like such and it goes out into the distance, never to be found again. Look, it's all the way over there. Wrapping things up with the wing area, you can see that the main cockpit area does spin around in a 360 direction with that Technic pin connection. And we also get the engines from the very back, also using a dish piece in that translucent dark blue. Looking at the cockpit for this vehicle, we get that regular TIE Fighter cockpit piece with the prints from the front. We also get that printed dish piece from the very top, which I also really like getting in these Star Wars sets. And 
we get the connection of the different type of clip piece to access the cockpit. You can open it up like such. No control panels really within this set. You just get an area to sit your minifigure. Nothing really too exciting going on there. And like I said, very, very blocky compared to what it should be. But you get your minifigure of the TIE Defender Pilot who you can sit on the little studded area and close up the vehicle like such. You get some translucent red studs for some pretend blasters. So overall for a $50 set, is the set worth it? I mean the minifigures aren't really anything to shout about. The build is okay at best. It is something that has never been made before from LEGO Star Wars, which I do applaud them on, but it's just not something that I'm really generally interested in. So yeah, that's pretty much all that I have to say for this video. Leave your thoughts down in the comment section below what your thoughts are on this set. Also remember to like and subscribe and hit that bell icon so every time I upload a new video. So yeah, that's it for now and I will see you next time. Bye!